Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and I am bringing you my first ever muck bang. I really want to do one of these because I asked like for recommendations and somebody commented um, a recommendation for me to do. So I'm about to do a I'm about to do a muck bang with some Domino's pizza. So I have Um, breadsticks. And then I have some. Ooh, cinnamon rolls. Okay. Mm. And I got oh, an Italian sausage pizza. Mm. Now that I'm regular pepperoni pizza, I think I'm going to start off with I'm going to start off with the sausage pizza. Ooh. First of all, mm. I'm normally a Papa John type of guy, but lately Papa John has been giving me heartburn lately. So. To make something happen is make you something Domino's happen. it is. You again? Correct. Mm -hmm. okay. And who was it that talked to your conditioner to the head of marketing for Cover Girls line of boutique products? And why do they want to be with you? Joanne, don't play with me. I can't take it. I'm serious. They want to meet with you, fly to New York, talk to me. Mm. They want to fly to New York. Yeah, I think I'm going to speak up. Come. Mm. Mm. Let's try some of this pepperoni. Did y'all watch Rosa Parks Funeral? I mean, ooh, not Rosa Parks. Aretha Franklin. The only funeral I have ever seen. I know she was an icon. But Aretha Franklin, that was a long funeral. Um. Whitney Houston funeral was only like three hours. A normal person funeral, I think, is like two hours. I don't know. Let me tell you who I think were the best performers. A lot of people are like saying that they don't think Ariana Grande was a good performer, but I think she was. Fantasia did well, as always. And Jennifer Hudson, Buddha Root Down. Let me turn my TV down. I hope y'all can hear me, but. Mm. Um, yeah, Jennifer Hudson blew the roof down. I'm 
cinnamon sticks. Jennifer has some blue to root down. Like always, she was giving you dream girls vibes. But I didn't even watch the whole thing. So apparently the funeral was supposed to be from 12, well, it was supposed to be from 12 to 3.15, I think. And it ended up being from like one to like eight. That's bizarre. Um, my school had a football game today. I go to the University of West Georgia. And they had a football game today, but both of my friends' boyfriends came to visit. So they're a little occupied. So I'm just doing a mukbang for y'all. Um, y'all know what scares me? Time. Like, knowing the fact that, like, my mom and my family, like, nobody is getting any, any younger. Everybody's getting older. It's crazy. Oh, another thing about the funeral I forgot to tell y'all. So apparently the pastor of the church of Aretha Franklin's funeral, the place where she had her funeral, he opened up to the public for 2,000 local Detroit people to come to the funeral. That's crazy. You know Ariana Grande. Yeah, I need to listen to Sweetener. Cause it's actually pretty good. What is right here? I don't really eat breadsticks. Let's see. But I don't really. <clears throat> I think Domino's is better. I'm just rumbling around, but I'm starting to think Domino's is better than Papa John's. Papa John's gives me heartburn, but y'all need to listen to Ariana Grande's new album, Sweetener. A lot of people, like, a lot of my friends and stuff don't listen to pop or nothing. I like all different kinds of music. I got a wide range, a wide range of diverse, like, I'm really diverse with the music I listen to, but it's really good. It's more like R&B. It's not like a lot of pop like normally Ariana Grande. But yeah. What's that um what's going on with Nicki Minaj and Cardi B? Do they have beef? Do they not have beef? I really think like the fans bring beef to the situation because they were friends. Like you remember at the Met Gala, they was talking to each other. So I think like the media makes like turns them against each other and the fans and stuff, which makes them start believing that they have beef. I didn't even do a cover picture. Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> well, yeah, they was talking at the Met Gala, so everybody thought they was cool, and then all of a sudden, like, they unfollowed each other on Instagram and all this stuff. So apparently, like, they have beef now, but why can't everybody just get along? They're both talented females. They both dropped great albums. Cardi B's album was great. They're like, they have two different rap styles, but I think Cardi B's album was great. I think Nick Minaj's album was great. Barbara Dreams, oh, that was country. Barbara Dreams, the song, she went in, completely in. 
But like, and people were saying like, half the Nick Minaj do all this and say all this stuff. But like, the chorus is saying, I'm just playing, but I'm saying, so she's joking. But a lot of these rappers in their songs talk about having sexual intercourses with girls, calling them hoes and stuff. But when a woman does it, it's horrible. It's like a double standards type thing. I don't, I don't know. Mm. Y'all watch for Bama Shore? I like, I watch it. I've been missing it, so I've been having to catch up on online. Mm. Well, um, I forgot her name. Candace, I think. I like her. I feel like she's real. She's just like, people say they get on her nerves or talk about her or whatever, but she's just loyal to her friends and protects her friends. It's Labor Day weekend. I don't have school on Monday. I would have went home. Oh, let me tell you why I couldn't go home. So I got in a car accident. The end of last last month, I got in a car accident. It was raining, and my car hydroplaned into a, the car in front of me. I haven't drunk no drink like this in a long time. I've been drinking water like every day, but I think the video had cut off, but what I was saying was there's a movie called Roxanne Shante on Netflix. You you should take it you should check it out. It's called Roxanne Roxanne, but it's about Roxanne Shante, the battle rapper from the eighties. And the girl who got the role of that movie had just graduated college like two weeks prior to getting the role. And I just thought, wow, how lucky is she like, in this industry, the acting industry, if you don't already have a name for yourself, it's going to be hard for them to like trust you and give you a role. But I would love for something like that to happen to me because I want to be an actor, but I like comedy. I love comedy. I love comedy. So I think I would do really well in like the comedy market. I don't want to do like stand up, but I mean, I'm, I wish I could do stand up. I would if I could. I just don't think I could. I can tell jokes on the spot, but I can't like write up jokes that I think are funny. Nobody else is going to think I'm funny. I'm getting full. I'm not in a long time. I'm mm going -hmm.
One more of these cinnamon rolls. But, yeah, I enjoy talking to y'all. I like this. I like this smoke bang thing. I might do more of them more often. If you like this one, comment and tell me if you want to see more. Or if it was boring or whatever. I might upload it today. But I already uploaded a vlog today. But I might still do it today. Alright. <clears throat> Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Comment what you want to see next. If you want to see another one of these, comment and let me know. Um, I uploaded a vlog today. And then I'm going to upload a haul, fashion haul, tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. And then I don't know when I'm going to upload this. Might do it today. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy like comment subscribe turn your post notifications on so you know when i upload um remember to smile be nice to people i'm done giving advice be you be true and be a tenderoni peace out you town down